For this lesson 5.5, we are going to look at real world applications for our exponential and logarithmic models. Um, so you'll see on your notes, um, there are four common math models that we're going to talk about. Uh, exponential growth, and this is kind of what uh, an exponential growth graph would look like. Uh, and it has the equation y equals a e to the rt. That should look really familiar to the um, one we've been using for finance, for compounding continuously, our PERT formula. It's exactly the same thing. Just instead of principal, we have our original amount, A. Also, exponential decay uh, just looks, it, the graph is decaying, and our formula is exactly the same, except in this case, our rate is negative because we're decaying. So exponential growth is often going to come into play for um, financial situations, uh, things that are compounded continuously. Uh, populations, bacteria growth, those all will use this formula. Exponential decay is going to be things uh, like your carbon decay, radioactive decay, things like that. Now two other ones that I'm going to mention are logistic growth and the Gaussian model. Logistic growth is actually what you would see more often in science um, because, you know, say there's a bacteria or something, or some sort of infection or something in a host. Uh, and so the bacteria starts growing exponentially. But eventually, uh, it, the growth starts to slow down because, you know, they're running out of cells to invade or uh, they're running out of food or something. Uh, so the growth slows down and eventually levels off. In science, we call that the carrying capacity. So the logistical growth model is given there. We are not going to do any calculations with that, but I want you to know it exists because um, in your science classes, uh, especially biology, this function becomes really important. The Gaussian model is here. Um, you may recognize this as uh, the bell curve. So it's something that starts growing exponentially and then it levels off and then it has an exponential decay. Uh, generally, things like standardized test scores fall into this. If you ever hear of someone grading on the curve, this is what they mean. IQ scores tend to fall in this model. Um, and we've got the formula there. Again, we're not using that in this course. Uh, if you pick up a statistics course later on in college, you may see this formula. But for our purposes, we're going to be focusing on exponential growth and decay, the, the simple formulas. So our first problem, we want to estimate the amount in billions, oh, estimates of the amounts in billions of U.S. online advertising spending from 2011 to 2015 can be modeled by this equation. Right, we're given our equation right here. S is the amount of spending in billions of dollars, and T equals 11 is the year 2011. So we want to know how much was spent in 2001. Well, in 2001, T is equal to 1, so we're just going to plug that into our equation. So 9.3E to the 0.1129 times 1. You're going to plug that all into your calculator, and when you push those wonderful buttons, you end up with 10.4. Remember, we're talking about advertising spending, so $10.4 billion in 2001. The second part of our question asks, when will the amount of online advertising spending reach $100 billion? So we want to know from this equation that they gave us when is S going to be 100 billion? So we plug that in there. And we're trying to solve for T. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by 9.3. However, I am not going to go to my calculator until the very end because I want an exact answer. And if I put this into my calculator, I'm going to introduce a rounding error. So we're just going to leave this as 100 over 9.3 equals e to the point one one two nine t. We're trying to solve for t, so we need to get the t out of the exponent. The best way to do that is to use our logarithms. Um, since we're at base e, we're going to use natural log. So we're going to take the natural log of both sides, and we'll use our down and front property to bring that down in front. Now, once we do that, once the point one one two nine t is down in front, the natural log of e is just 1, so this basically goes away in the problem. And we're left with the natural log of 100 over 9.3 equals 0.1129t. Finally, to get t by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 0.1129. 
And now we're ready to go to our calculator. Okay. Uh, so you're going to take the natural log and in parentheses 100 divided by 9.3. Close your parentheses, divide the whole thing by 0.1129. Um, and we should get t equals 21. Okay. So that's 21 years. Uh, when we put that back into the context of our problem, that is in the year 2021. So in the year 2021, we will hit $100 billion worth of online advertising spending. We will come back to the next problem in the next video.